Let's go with Boxing UK now. Hi, Amir. It's Steve from Boxing UK. Hi, Steve. You are right? Hi, Amir. Amir, earlier, Kel was talking about the animosity that he has for you. Yeah. Um, he talked about he still won't shake your hand. Can, can you tell us a little bit about your personal feelings towards Kel? And once this yeah. is done and dusted, are you shaking hands? Look, you know, um, with me, I mean, look, I'm a sportsman. And in the day, look, yeah, we don't like each other. And, and there is bad blood there. But to be honest with you, I don't really know where it started from. And I think it's more to any more, more than anything, it's, I think it's just pure jealousy, really, with what I've done in my career. And he thinks that he should have been where I was. But what got me to where I was is hard work and dedication and discipline and focused. We know that with Kel, he's one of them type of fighters that once he goes off the rails and he's after a fight, he'll go on a piss up and he'll go, he'll go missing for a couple of weeks, put on loads of weight. I mean, you see the difference in uh, the two of us when I was, it was quite funny when, um, his his uh, coach um, was in, in, in Ingle said to, um, Dominic Ingle said that oh, Amir's not been training whereas Kel has and I mean I didn't know how to I didn't know how to question that because or give an answer to him for that because when you look at the two of us there's a big massive difference in who's been training and who ain't been training I mean he looked like a well overweight unhealthy like he's come off from a night out fighter whereas with me I've been training for the last couple of months and I've been just tick, keeping myself ticking over and when you look at two fighters you just look at the skin colour you look at the you look at the eyes you look at the, the body shape you look at the, the frame you see who the real fighter is and who's not the real fighter and you know who the fighter is who's been training so all this I think what Ken Lott is saying now is just to kind of get under my skin or maybe somehow kind of put them back uh, in a in a position where people can start believing that they have a chance of winning this fight. Look, Kel has no chance of winning this fight. And I can honestly say that to you. Come Feb 19th, I am going to destroy him. And and it's gonna be it's gonna be a masterclass and it's gonna be the way I destroy him as well. He'll never I don't I think he will need to retire after that. This will be his last fight. Good luck on the 19th, Amir. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's go to Keith Fraser. Yeah, hi, Keith Fraser, seconds out. Good evening, Thank Amir. Um, look, um, many well-known pundits, many well-known boxers, past and present, have said for years, you don't want to fight Kell Brook. You're running scared. Certainly of the Kell Brook that beat Sean Porter over there in the States. Let's get, get down to, to the nitty-gritty. Is the reason that you now wanted to take this fight because you feel particularly after Brooks' performance against Crawford, where, as you said, he got knocked out by a jab. You feel Brook is finished, and therefore now's the time for you to take him. Okay, so, um, you know, when, when Brook was fighting against a Porter, and he beat, he got that win against Porter, which was a brilliant win. It's a very close fight, got the win. Uh, become a world champion. See, at that time, we was campaigning. Uh, I think I was with... Uh, I was... I was I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Are you still there? Sorry. Yeah, I was with Al Heyman at the time. And uh, so, or with Golden Boy, one of the two I was with. And I know that um, the name was getting sh out there where, I mean, you should fight Kel now. He's a world champion. But I was already campaigning and I was on a different route. I was fighting, I had, I was, I had world titles as well. I was fighting the big names in America. I was campaigning and fighting in America. I always knew that the Kel Brook fight was always going to be there. You know, I knew that it was always going to be there for me. And so that's the reason I didn't think it needed to happen at the time. Not because I was scared. I mean, if you look at the opposition and the people I've faced, you know, I've faced some tough and hard fighters. I mean, a fighter like Devin Alexander, who Kel did not want to fight when when he was told that. Many times they said that fight was supposed to be made, but Kel didn't want to fight Devin Alexander. Now, obviously, this is what Devin Alexander's team also said at the press conference when we were when I was fighting him. Um, there's other fighters who I fought who probably like Canelo, for example. So I just thought that the way I've, I've, I've planned my career, I think it was just perfect the way I did things. And look, the main thing is, is that now it's here. The fight is here. And not because I'm taking the fight because, um, well, yeah, then again, you always, you always look at your opponent and think, how good was he in his last fight? 
Kel looked terrible on a serious note. He looked terrible. And if that same Kel book turns up to fight me, I think I don't see go, I don't see the fight going past three, four rounds. So I mean it's a business and a day, but at the same time, being a Kel book now or being him five years ago, I don't think it makes a difference. When 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 people read that on my resume, oh you fought Kel Brook, they're not gonna look what when I fought Kel Brook or what year that was. So really um, I don't think that matters now. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, to me, it probably, it's probably better now fighting him now than then because he's, al- he's already half broken. So, but this is the fight that everyone, everyone wants to see. I mean, everyone has wanted to see it for years, but now you've taken the fight. Surely you'd rather face the Brook that, that, that lost to uh, Terence Crawford than the Brook that beat Sean 100%. Porter. That's I mean, the look, bottom I'm, line. 100% look, it's a business. I'm, I, and it's a business, this sport is. And 100%, why not? I mean, he's still Cal Buck, isn't he? And he's still the guy who still talk, he still talks the same. He still feels the same way about fighting me. And he still feel, feels that he can still beat me. But maybe, I just don't think he has it in him. He's not the same Cal Buck he was before. So I'll be honest there. A couple of years ago, he would have given me a harder fight, for sure. But now, I think he has. No, he doesn't have a chance. 